Hey, what's up, guys? Mike from the Oak Cliff Kickboxing Academy. I'm going to be breaking down the action from last night's Legacy Fighting Championship 21 event. It took place in Houston, Texas on Axis TV. I made it just a little bit late, so I didn't get to see the first two fights, but I'll throw up their results. Uh, I did get to see Holly Holm fight Alana Jones, and it was similar to her Bellator fight. Started off very tentative, uh, just getting warmed up. And in the second round, she threw a very nice punching combination that ended with a kick and landed flush. And Jones went down and she was out. Follow up punches weren't needed. It was a great knockout. Leonard Garcia versus Ray Trujillo. Uh, Trujillo started off very strong. I think he won the first round. He mixed it up very well. Uh, he took Garcia down. He stood up with them and threw some strikes. Uh, great round by Trujillo. But in the second, Leonard Garcia battled back. And he started getting off on his punches. Uh, knees to the chest were working. Knees to the body. And he was able to get up several times. And in the third round, he really let go. Uh, he landed with a head kick that started it off. Big punches. The way Leonard Garcia throws everything on him, a lot of power. And I thought it should have gotten stopped. It took a while, though, for the referee to finally come in and stop the fight. Great job by Leonard Garcia. In the co-main event, Bubba Bush versus Larry Crow for the vacant middleweight title. And Bubba Bush, very controlling guy, uh, grabs a hold of you, grabs a hold of you, he's going to take you down. He's going to stay on top. He almost had a Bon Flu choke at one point. Crow's just trying to hang on, trying to get up. But Bubba Bush wouldn't give him any space. And eventually he took over a ground and pound. And referee stops it. In the main event, Matt Hobar versus Angel Huerta. Huerta was landing some sick jumping knees that were landing. Hobar trying to get the fight to the ground. He did. Huerta was able to get back up. And then he tried to do a trip. And he ended up getting taken down himself. That was a big mistake. Because after that, Matt Hobart took the back. And he had flattened him out. And he got that rear naked choke. A great job. Now Matt Hobart is the Bantamweight champion. 